guys, this is Rebel Coney here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet and this is called the Moonita bracelet and this was done by Loom Snow on Instagram and this is her account here you should definitely go follow her, her posts are amazing as well as her colour combinations and her pictures are so high quality as well and she's so nice so I would definitely recommend go giving her a follow and if you do make this bracelet please post it on Instagram and hashtag it to hashtag Moonisha bracelet, hashtag Loom Snow, and hashtag Rebels or BL. Okay, so the supplies you'll be needing today are a loom, a hook, a C clip, and around five different colours of bands, or six if you want. One for the um, inside borders, um, two or three if you want for the colour bands in the centre. I'm actually going to be using these two. Um, a colour for the centre single chain and then a colour for the uh, hook only borders and I'm going to be using Mother of Pearl, Medieval Turquoise, Glitter Red, um, Navy Blue Paradise and White. Okay so to start off you're just going to be placing the standard single chain border using your white band. So you're going to go all the way up with your white. Oops I dropped one down here. And you're just going to keep going up to the top on both sides. Like that. And then just keep going to the get to the top. I presume everybody knows how to do this by now. If you've watched some of my other tutorials or if you've made pretty much any loom bracelet, you should know how to do this. So then just do that all the way up to the top. And then when you have that done to the top, you're just going to go in like that on both sides to close it off. Then we can go back down to the bottom and start again with our colour bands. Okay, so now we're actually going to be placing the centre single chain going up. And I know I said that I'm going to be doing it in, I think it was glitter red, but I'm actually going to be doing it in white again. So you're just going to be doing a single chain going all the way up the centre. So that when you take it off the loom, or sorry, when you get to the top, all the pegs will be, all the pegs will be filled except these top two. So I'm just going to do that all the way to the top, and I guess I'll do it on camera. Sorry, my tripod keeps shaking. Like that. Okay, now when we get back down to the bottom, we're going to make sure that all of our side uh, bands here, they're all pushed down because we're going to be putting bands on top of them. So now we can start with our coloured bands. So first I'm going to be taking this navy, uh, navy from the Blue Paradise mix and I'm just going to be placing it on this pin like that and then do the same on the other side. So just place the band on the pin. Then we're going to be doing it to the next one up again, placing a band on the pin with a different colour, and then to the next peg up, and then you're just going to be doing that up to the top, but you're not going to be placing bands on these pins, so you're going to stop here. Okay, and I'll be back when I have that done. Okay, so now I have it done all the way to the top not including these two top pins here and now we can start the hooking process so you're going to turn your loom around and um, now we can place a cap band and you have to be very careful to make sure that none of your colour bands fall off the pegs and we're just going to be placing a cap band on this very bottom pin here you can see my colour bands are like flying all over the place and now we're just going to be hooking the centre single chain upwards So go down and grab the centre single chain, it's really easy. So yeah, just do that all the way up. Okay, and then when we get up to the top again, we're going to go back down to the bottom. And now we're going to be hooking the coloured bands. So what you're going to do is, you're just going to be going in through the bottom 
So you see the white, wait I'll just zoom in here, here we go. So you see the way that there's two layers to this single chain loop, we're going to go through the bottom layer. So forget this top layer, pretend it's not even there, you can even lift it over to the other side if you want. And you can go down through the bottom layer, grab that band there, and then pull it back towards itself. It doesn't matter if it twists now because you can just untwist it later. Then you can lift that top loop back over the pin and do the same thing on the other side. So you can just ignore that top loop or lift it over the pin. Go down through here and then grab that colour band. It might be a bit difficult at the start but you'll get the hang of it. And pull it back towards itself like that. And then you're going to be doing the same thing in the next one. So just lift that um, top layer back over. Then you can lift this over if you want. Go down through here and grab that colour band. Pull it through and lift it back to the pin. And grab the two top layers and move them over. Go down through there. Grab that navy blue band and hook it over and then like that. I'll show you one more time. So you're going to go with the top layer over and you want to make sure that it is the top layer and not they're not crossed. You want to grab that bit of red and put it back onto itself. And grab the two top bands and hook them over the pin just to get them out of the way. And grab the other glitter red and hook it back towards itself and like that. And then you're just going to be doing this all the way up with all of the colour bands. Okay, so now that I've finished that, um, it's okay if these bands are like really twisted because we can just untwist them afterwards and the light is shining in my face right now. <laughs> okay, so now we can start with the borders. So we're going to go down into the cap band and hook these bands out like that and then hook it up on both sides and then we're just going to turn the loom on its side grab these two colour bands and lift them over like that so they're resting on this white band and then do the same on the other side so grab those two colour bands so that they're resting on the white band then we're going to hook up the border again and lift over these two and these two like that so that they're resting on it and it doesn't matter if these bands are kind of twisted and do the same thing again all the way up like that and then the same with the other side and I'll show you one more time so just hook it up on the side hook them over on the side hook them over oh and you also want to make sure let me just put these back on you also want to make sure that you are going in between these two bands you're not going under here or you're not going above you, you want to go in between the two white bands and lift them over okay and then just do that all the way up to the top okay so I just took these blue bands over so now I can go down here and hook these border bands inwards and now we can take it off but we're not finished yet because we still have to add on the hook borders and you're going to grab a white band or a border color band and you're just going to pull it up through all of those bands that are on your hook Actually, wait, I didn't do that right. So first of all, you're just going to put your hook down through here and make sure you have all the bands. And stick your hook out. Take a band and pull it through. And put it back on your hook. Then you can take your C-clip. Stretch it out and then clip it. Like that. 
so that all the bands are clipped on and then we can take it off the loom okay so now when you've took it off the loom um, you're going to kind of fold the side over like I have done here and I've done it on one side so I'll show you how to do it to the other so when you take it off it's going to look like this so the bands are going these white bands are going to be sticking out so what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of fold them back and then pinch them into the back like that so it looks like something like this and now we can start with the hooking the border so you're going to take your hook and you're going to go down to the bottom so here's the cap band okay and i'm actually just going to zoom in a little bit for this and focus there we go okay so here's the cap band we're not going to go into the cap band we're going to find the band next to it the border band i'm going to flatten it out and put our hook in through the back like this then take a hook border color and pull it through i'm using mother of pearl in case you didn't know okay and then we're going to twist this around okay so just twist the bracelet around so to the back Okay, and then there will be the line of single chain borders that we kind of pinched and we're going to go down into the first one there with the first colour bands down here sorry it's kind of hard to see with that colour but there should be two loops if I can pick them both up there we go so there should be two loops and make sure they're not crossed and then we're going to slip knot this so you're going to take the first loop and pull it through the second loop, like that. Then take another mother of pearl band and pull it through, like that. And we're going to do the same thing again. So go to the back, turn to the back, go down through this single chain border and pick up those two navy blue paradise bands. Pull one through the other. Then take a mother of pearl, pull it through like that. Then we're going to do the same thing again. So grab the back, grab the two colour bands, pull one through the other, grab a mother of pearl, pull it through everything, and as you can see, it's starting to form here. And then just do the same thing up again. Show you one more time and then I'll do the same thing for the other side. So go down through, pull a band, pull one loop through the other, then take a mother of pearl and pull it through everything on your hook and then replace and then just do that all the way up to the top. Okay, I just pulled a mother of pearl band through the blue paradise band and then you're going to take another band and then just pull it through. Here, so make another single chain loop and now we can attach it onto this single chain band that's holding everything together so just take that off the c-clip and pull it through there and then replace onto the c-clip and now we can start with the other side so you're pretty much just going to do the exact same thing so go up through the back Take a mother of pearl band and pull it through. Then twist the bracelet around. Wait, let me try and make it focus. There we go, that's a bit better. And you're going to go down through here. Grab the colour band. Oops, no. And then pull the first loop through the second. Then take your mother of pearl and pull it through all the bands on your hook. Then go up into the next loop. Pull the first one through the second. And then pull the mother of pearl through all. Go into the third loop. Pull the first loop through the second loop. Take a mother of pearl and pull it through everything. And then just do the same thing again. And so that's what I'm going to show you. So go down through that single chain loop, pull the first loop through the second, and then pull a mother of pearl through everything. And then you're just going to do that all the way up. 
And then when you get to the top again, you're just going to pull a mother of pearl band through everything on the hook. And then add it onto the C-clip band. Like that. And then you're done. So this is the back. And then this is the front. You know it's the front because of the you can the single chain is more visible here where it is not in the back. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you do make this bracelet, don't forget to post it on Instagram and hashtag it too. Hashtag uh, Monitha Bracelet, hashtag Rebels Orbia and hashtag Looms Now. Bye!